Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And now that 23H2 is officially out, uh, for seekers, Microsoft does say for seekers, a few little things about those that don't see it and also about unsupported hardware. So yes, there will be a, quite a number of you that will check and will not have it in the Windows updates. There are blockers. Microsoft did say that uh, there are some machines that are not yet compatible and you won't see 23H2 for these uh, machines. Now, for those that want it and are compatible, it's a seeker thing. So really, it's if you don't do anything and won't see it, it won't install, it won't be there. But if you do force a Windows update check uh, and that you have the switch get the latest updates as soon as they're available on, it will probably pop up as the enablement package. It is a quick install, by the way, because it's a very small update that doesn't do much. It mostly switches on the rest of the features that were still switched off, but already installed on your computer. And it uh, bumps up the number to 23H2 on your um, Windows version. Unsupported, what's happening? Well, Microsoft does state in its uh, wording, it says that supported machines. Um, it does say that, you know, compatible machines. And, and so the, all the things that they're saying is kind of a clearly, uh, not saying it directly, but, but kind of clear enough that you probably don't see it if you're a Windows, and so, a Windows 11 user, sorry, that is uh, unsupported. So I've got my unsupported machine here and Toshiba doesn't show up. So I don't think it will show up for any of us that are unsupported. Now, it's not much of a problem if you're on 23H2, you still have a year and you don't have to worry about it for a while. But for those that are enthusiasts that want it, uh, you'll have to probably use a trick of installing Windows with USB thumb drive, using the tricks like the Rufus tool to remove all the unsupported um, checks Yes, it does install. A lot of people were worried that 23H2 would not install at all on unsupported. Yes, it it from from what we see right now is it's going to install without any problem with you know the tricks that we use to actually remove the uh, unsupported checks. Now, um, I tried a few things. I actually I tried one thing just to see. And when I go here and I click the download now for the installation assistant. Uh, the funniest thing that it did is uh, actually it came to me and said, oh, you should run the uh, PC health check to confirm that your device meets the minimum requirements. So it refuses to do install because of that. So um, what I'm going to do actually is download the um, image um, and I will create a uh, installation media using the... Uh, the USB thumb drive and um, probably kind of reinstalling Windows from scratch on uh, the computer. Anyways, I'm kind of due because there's a few things I did that um, I'm unhappy of and that I want to kind of restart from scratch. So uh, this is going to be interesting and um, we'll be checking that out um, on the unsupported machines. But um, not to worry, it is uh, installable, but you'll have to, you know, go through the uh, install process like you'd install a Windows. Um, it won't come up through Windows Update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.